What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to another ratings refresh video and the league we're looking at today is going to be the Caos as it's known in FIFA or the Serie A as it's known in real life. So the Italian league and right now on the official EA website it does say coming soon Caos next and apparently that's today. Obviously there's no confirmation about that right now, just says Caos coming soon straight after the Premier League one. No other leagues are there, so that's what I'm gonna assume for now and it will be today, guys. So before we get started, as always, you can show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Do you agree with these upgrades and downgrades? Let me know down below. And finally, if you missed my previous video, it will down below in the description box. So the ratings refresh promotion has gone from February 17th, which of course was on Friday, until February 27th. So a 10 day event, and we're shooting the top five leagues we covered, then rest of the world, and hopefully at some point, we get skill moves and potentially even on top of that, work rates. And the tweet on Friday did say over 60 Premier League players have had their ratings updated. Next league on Sunday, full list here. And in fact, one player I was really surprised did not get in there, which is ridiculous is Lukaku. I have no idea how he didn't get one. And um, by the way, back onto Serie A then. So I also want to point out, I say every single time, these stats and the overalls are taken directly from head to head. These are not my opinion. So the very first player is going to be a downgrade, and that is a Colombian striker from Milan, that is Carlos Baca. Now on FIFA 17, he's an 84 rated striker on ultimate team of 85 pace, 81 shot and 74 physical. Right now on head to head, he's gone down to an 83. His pace has gone down by two to 83 as well. And most of the rest of the card though, in fact, apart from dribbling down by one, is the exact same. And these aren't fully confirmed, by the way, to be on ultimate team, but I think most of these, if they do get their upgrade or downgrade, they'll pretty much match head to head, just like the Premier League ones did. Then we go on to the next player, which is Balde Diao. I'm pretty sure his name is Keita or something, but on card it says that. Um, that is going to be the winger from Lazio. He's 78 rated right now on FIFA Ultimate Team, 91 pace, 83 dribbling, some decent shooting and passing, and also 71 physical. In fact, probably um, the Serie A's alternative to Anthony Martial. And now on head to head, has gone up to an 80 rated player with 91 pace, 72 shot and passing, 85 dribbling. His physical went down by one, but I don't think um, any of the upgrades so far have had negative stats. And that potentially could affect his African Cup of Nations I Malamachi has um, from just a few weeks ago. Then we go on to Bonaventura from Milan, and this card looks really, really good. In fact, his foot card is an 82 rated left midfielder. Now on head to head, he's an 83 centimeter. So really nice position change right there. I think back on FIFA 15, 16 or so, he was actually central, but now his default card was moved out to the left hand side. Does have a really nice informed card, which I think will be affected because his defending went up by seven. Again, his pace went down by one to 81, but I'm not sure if they carry that over to ultimate team. Then we go on to Brozovic of Inter Milan, does have two informed cards right now. I think one is a right midfield and the other one is an 85 CM. So him going up to an 80 rated player, I'm not sure if that'll affect his informed cards in the slightest. Because his stats on card are really similar to his base card anyway, uh, for he already has. So I'm not sure if it'll affect it. If it does, happy days because his inform, it was second inform, sorry, is so, so good. Next up is going to be Bruno Perez. Down by one from an 81 to an 80 for Roma. Uh, Roma have got a lot of upgrades, by the way. And he's one of the few players in the Serie A that looks like he has got a downgrade on head-to-head. -head. And his stats, they are very, very similar. Down one pace and one shooting. And the rest of the card, apart from defending as well, is the exact same. Then we got to another upgrade. That is Jose Callahan of Napoli. Go from an 81 to an 82. Stats-wise, shooting up by one, passing up by one. And the other ones, physical up by two as well. And a decent winger right there. Then we go on to Juan Cuadrado of Juventus, and he's gone from an 82 to an 83. Does have an informed card as well, of course has five star skill moves. The main thing about this card though, is a plus five defending. He also has plus one dribbling, plus one shooting, uh, plus two passing, the physical stayed the same. So overall, very solid card. And if his informed card does change, I think it'd be a very nice upgrade. It may be minimal here and there, the defending will definitely go up if it does change. Then we got to Danny Alves. I mentioned this the other day in the video. Um, his downgrade is really strange from 85 to 84, but he's gone down by six pace. His passing went from 76 to 80, dribbling went up from 82 to 84, uh, defending stayed the same, but physical went down by three. I'm not sure if I'd do this one, to be honest, as I think a lot of people, it really wouldn't make too much sense, in my opinion, at least. Then we go on to Gianluigi Donnarumma, one of the biggest talents right now in world football, especially in the goalkeeping department. And it's his very first FIFA, and he's got two informed cards, I believe, and now an upgrade, potentially. He is just 17 years old, and his base card is 76 rated, some decent stats overall, and now a 70 on head-to-head, -head with 83 diving instead of 78. Every single stat has gone up by at least one, apart from the kick-in, which did stay the exact same. 
Then we go on to Pali Dybala, one of the high rated ones this time, and potentially could be getting another in form this Wednesday because he got two goals and one assist in the very recent game. And if that gets upgraded, that'll be an 89, I think. And it would also mean that his two inform cards and his SBC card in particular will all go up because they have upgraded SBC cards from Footmas, which I really, really like. Honestly thought I would have been minded as well if they kept them the exact same because really, they're not, they're not performance based cards. So it wouldn't make sense to change them. But to be fair, yeah, I've done that. For those that invested the coins. His stat changes are very, very minimal though. Plus one passing and also plus one defending. And that is it for his card. Then we go on to Edin Dzeko, I believe got a lot of goals so far this season for Roma and his upgrade is really small for someone who's got a lot of goals. Going from an 80 to an 81, look at them stat changes, just a few here and there, shooting up by one and dribbling up by one, I think that's pretty much it. Then we go on to Alejandro Gomez, currently got his second form 85 rated car right now at striker. His upgrade though, unfortunately, it's not essential, it's still a left winger. But hopefully because he has been playing a lot of striker this season or centrally, um, EA see that and make him a striker card for his upgrade. But overall, um, again, not too much change to bonus, plus two passing, plus one dribbling, and the rest is the same. Then we go on to Gonzalo Higuain, Dybala's partner, and a player that's got four and four cards so far as well, as a ones to watch. Now, his ones to watch potentially could go from 92 now to 93. But just like Dybala, very minimal upgrades, plus one passing, plus one dribbling, and a plus one physical. And his 93 right now, 92, sorry, is really, really good in game. His team of the season potentially this rate, 98 or 99. Then we go on to a player that's been very much heavily invested in so far for uh, the upgrade season, and that is Mario Cardi from Inter Milan. I believe has three informs possibly. I know he's got an 87 rated card this year, and that's only like 60 or 70K. Now, that potentially could go up to an 88, maybe even an 89. His base card is just 82 rated, but now on head to head, it's got by two to an 84, pace up by one, shooting up by one, passing up by two, dribbling by one, defending stay the same, and physical also up by two. Now, a very solid card, but it's team this season. I'll probably wait till that um, come May. Then we go on to Insigne, another player has got an SBC card and an inform card. Very good in this game, very small, but great on the ball and absolutely rapid. Go from an 83 to an 84. And the stats that have changed are going to his passing, his pace, and also dribbling, all up by one overall. Then we go on to Koulibaly, a player that has got an African Cup of Nations Iron Man the match card, just like Keita at the very start. He's gone from 82 to 83, but the smallest of upgrades. Everything, apart from defending, has stayed the exact same, which defending from 82 all the way up, I say all the way up, um, to 84 now. Then we go on to Gary Medell, a downgrade from 83 to 82. Now, I personally, I understand why they're doing downgrades, but I don't think people will be buying these because his 83 is cheap anyway. And his card is the exact same, by the way, apart from the minus three physical, that is the only change. Then we go on to an upgrade, a very, uh, very deserved one, and that is Mertens from Napoli. Now, it has been playing striker a lot this season, so just like Gomez before, I really hope his upgrade is a striker. But on head to head, he's now an 85 rated left winger still, with 90 pace, 78 shot, 79 passing, 88 dribbling, 36 defending, and a 55 physical. It's a player in real life, has been scoring a ton of goals this season, lots and lots of hat tricks. In fact, he's got an ultimate team card right now, a third in form, I think, which is 88 rated. And do I think that'll get an upgrade? I personally, he's very expensive, but I think he might just change a bit here and there. Uh, maybe not too drastically, like the biggest one so far, definitely, is that second in form Sadio Mane. He's like next level good now. He's got 99 pace, his physical went through the roof, and that's even with EA being uh, very, very low now on what his stamina is on head-to-head -head because his base card on head-to-head -head has got 83 stamina, yet his in form card or second in form has also got that. So if they gave him a crazy stamina stat like 93 or 94, his physical stat would be like 90 rate, that's probably why they turn that down a little bit. Then we go on to the next upgrade, and that is going to another Belgian this time, Nine Golan. Now, a player that has got two and four so far on FIFA Ultimate Team in the All 80 Club. The only stat that's changed on his card is a plus one shooting, so very minimal, and his 84, I imagine, still will hold his value. Then we go on to Perisic, a really nice card, has got a nice inform card, in fact, that I play um, at Striker, on, obviously on the 7 Chemistry. But he's got from an 83 to an 84, uh, pace up by one, shooting up by one, passing up by one, physical and defending stay the same, and dribbling also up by the one rating. Then we go on to Pepe Reina, 84 rated, pretty much only used now for the, uh, the SBC, so the guaranteed informs and such. So the downgrade, it won't upset too many people. Although one thing I did notice about it, it's not a typo by the way, it's speed, but from 50 to 57 on head to head, so I'm not sure if they repeat that in FIFA Ultimate Team. Then we go on to Antonio Rudiger from Roma, um, a very popular team so far. In this video, go from a 77 to a 79, 
77 pace, 40 short, 63 passing, 62 dribbling, 78 defending, and 78 physical. It was one of my favorite silver cards back in the day on uh, FIFA 14 or FIFA 15, I think it was, as a non rare in the Bundesliga. Then we got to Mohamed Salah, got so many special cards this year. Go from an 81 to an 82. And do I think it's a big enough upgrade to affect those cards? I'm hoping so because I've got his eye man of the match, but realistically, I doubt it. He hasn't got any crazy, crazy big upgrades in the card, like 73 shots, 71 passing. They're just plus ones, 92 pace. I mean, his pace could go up a little bit on his informed cards, but that's about it. And now we've got the final three. First up is Kevin Struman of Roma from an 81 to an 82. And again, very minimal changes. 80 passing, 72 shot, and a 76 dribbling and 80 physical. Then we move on to a Suzo, plus three overalls for him from a 77 right midfielder to an 80 right winger. Plus two pace, a plus two shot, uh, plus four passing, a plus one dribbling, and plus four physical. The defending did stay the same. The final one then is going to be Wojciech Szczesny on loan from Arsenal. Well, I think they're probably going to get him on a permanent basis soon. Has got an informed card as well, by the way. I forgot to mention that about Suzo. But Szczesny from a 79 to an 81. And his stats haven't changed too much again. Handling, though, is up by three. I just say his stats haven't changed too much, but I'm kind of like in the zone right now. Um, he's actually got plus five speed plus four positioning, plus three kicking, plus three handling, and uh, plus one reflexes. So a very decent goalkeeper. And that is going to be the final one, guys. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Also, I'll try and do this now for every single league if you get an indication as to what one will be coming up on that day. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Do you agree with these upgrades and downgrades? And finally, if you missed my previous video, it's down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.